Hi, I'm Chris Montero, and we're here with Scott Cravens. Hello, sir. Hi. Nice to see you. How you been? Very good. It's great good. to be here. Right on. And uh, we're here at EMS Expo again, and we're excited to be here. Are you? Um, tell us a little bit about EMS Expo. Um, again, we're in Dallas this year, of course. But uh, how big's the show? How's registration? Things like that. Um, yes, EMS Expo is is unique in that it it moves around. Um, the country. We're excited to be here in Dallas. It's been quite a few years since we've been here. Um, and this is a good show. Attendance is up nicely good. Um, over last year's show. So hopefully that's that's a good sign, not not just for, for this area, but also the economy in general. Um, the number of exhibitors is, is nicely up as well, and they're good. excited about being here. Uh, the the pre-con Classes are up. We had 800 people sign up yesterday, so um, people are excited about being here. Now, would you consider EMS Expo maybe the premier event for Cygnus and EMS Magazine and EMS Responder every year? Is that really your big event? Um, yes, I think um, certainly for for the EMS group, um, this is the largest show. We've also got a uh, Firehouse Expo in Baltimore. We've right. got Firehouse World in San Diego. And then Firehouse Central is is the uh, fire show that's co-located here at the same time. Right. Uh, but definitely EMS Expo um, in in the EMS discipline. This is the largest show in North America for EMS, and uh, it also brings in uh, quite a large and growing number of uh, international attendees. So we're it's nice to have them come in, give their comments in the sessions, um, offer how they. Um, approach EMS, so it's a good show for um, not just North America, but also international. Oh, that's good. So, tell me a little bit about the rebranding of what you're doing, and and maybe uh, what you guys see for the future of EMS. Is it EMS Magazine or is it EMS Responder? What's your rebranding, or what are you going through as as part of your announcement? Okay. Well, this is this is new news to to certainly our audience. Um, we have been, uh, our, our three brands have been EMS Magazine, EMS Expo, and EMSResponder.com. And um, we inherited each of these properties okay. um, and launched them. So when I got here, this, is, this was kind of how we were structured. Um, we've wanted to um, kind of capitalize on the strength of each of the brands and have those brands um, help the other. And that hasn't been happening. Uh, people don't necessarily know that EMS Magazine is related to EMSresponder.com sure. and, and EMS Expo. So we've been looking at this for, for some time and, and how can we better coordinate each of these media platforms. So um, EMS Expo being the largest show, we wanted a name that we could go to that wouldn't diminish that brand. Sure. Um, the only name that, that really made sense to us that, that would actually elevate the brand um, was to go with EMS World. Oh, wow. So uh, starting next year, this will be not just EMS Expo, but EMS World Expo. Um, the magazine and the website are changing as we speak. So your October issue will be EMS World Magazine. And then um, it will no longer be EMSResponder.com, although you can obviously still get to the same site, but it'll be EMSWorld.com. We really didn't like the just having EMS Responder because that, that may indicate to people, well, that's, that's just for the, the lowest level of, of EMS. So we think that that uh, rebranding and renaming of the website is also going to bode well um, and really better tell our story because um, EMSresponder.com, now EMSworld.com, uh, does have the most online content, and, um, and that name will help get that message across better. Well, that's exciting. So EMS World, now, do you ever envision maybe going more internationally for stories and events and maybe even doing an international conference, or have you... Have you started? The, I don't want to. You know, yeah. I don't want to. I don't, don't want to divulge the the a lot of your business plan. But you know, as you look out into the future, I think that that name already starts to generate a lot of thoughts in my mind. Like, oh, gee, that's very cool. Um, 
without divulging too much or what you can, what do you, where do you see this and where do you see it going for your publications and the website and even this the show? Okay. Well, we didn't we didn't want to change the content. One of the things that names we kicked around was EMS International or EMS Worldwide. And and that's not what we want to be. That's not what we are now. Um, so EMS World meaning everything EMS. Okay, very nice. Um, comprehensive coverage. Um, we already do, on, a, on an annual basis, cover what's going on in other countries because that's important to what's going on here in North America. Sure. Um, so we, we will continue to cover that. Um, we're not going to start covering international more, um, but we also recognize that, that uh, as I said, with EMS um, Expo, we have a growing presence of international because people want to know what's being done here in, in America. So we're going to, um, we're not changing the content. We already get a lot of visitors, international visitors to the website as well. So um, no, there's no plans at this point to, to um, regularly cover international except where it applies and will help us in our own protocols and, and now are you changes. going to still keep some of the same great authors and um, editorials that we get to see in the magazine now and I, I assume that all those things are staying the same you're just rebranding what's going on so the content's still good right right the content uh, won't change it's it's award-winning we've got great writers we've got great contributors and columns and um, people come to us and have come to expect that information and those people to be there so that that won't change at all um, except as as the the discipline changes, uh, we'll continue to evolve with it. Very cool. Well, thank you, Scott. I appreciate it. Um, you can find out more about this exciting event uh, on the EMS Expo website, and I'm sure very soon the EMS World website. Now, is that launching today, or is that launching it next couple of weeks? What, 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 uh, how close are we? It actually launches on Wednesday. Oh, very. And are, is there going to be a big announcement at the show? Uh, yes, there'll be a big announcement tomorrow morning. Cool. Um, people that are registering today are already getting a glimpse because the... Um, the bags that we have already have the new EMS World logo on them. Very cool. Well, thank you. And look at emsworld.com. And you can always find out more of these great videos on their website because uh, they have us here. And we're excited to be here. I'm Chris Montera, and Jamie Davis is behind the camera. Thanks for joining us.